An exoskeleton is an external skeleton which some animals have. Other animals like us humans have our skeleton inside our bodies. But with lots of animals this is on the outside of their body. Providing protection from predators against their kind or against the environment they live in. And the idea of exoskeleton devices or hardware is basically based on that. These exoskeletons already exist and are used by for example companies so their workers can tolerate heavy lifting much better. It might sound like science fiction now, but the very first exoskeleton device used to be sci-fi as well years ago. So I wouldn't be surprised if one day they will use exoskeletons for astronauts, if we ever manage to explore more different planets on foot. Of course, after a lifetime taking trip to reach that planet. But exoskeletons also have a place in the world of gamers. This takes us to Agile VR, which happens to be an exoskeleton for gamers. What is Agile VR? Agile VR is a knee exoskeleton which uses several sensors to capture your leg movement by when you move naturally on the spot in the room and is then transmitted into the locomotion controls of the game. Agile VR works with almost every game for virtual reality that supports smooth locomotion movement via trackpad or thumbstick on your VR controllers. Who created Agile VR? Agile VR is created by Mechatech and Mechatech is a company which is based in the UK. They have a team of engineers who have great understandings of electronics, mechanics, manufacturing and much more. As a team they are concentrated in creating and improving exoskeleton technology with the goal to have more immersive virtual reality experiences. In the future the use of exoskeletons will also move to other sectors such like medical, industrial, sports and perhaps more. They've also worked with students from universities in the UK and supervised them in reaching their goals. How does the Agile VR works? The early version Agile VR works currently with a cable, but there is a way to use it wirelessly. However, Mechatech is working on a Kickstarter project for a new wireless model. I will share a few details about this in a few minutes. The program comes with software for your computer, which installs the hardware files and a useful manager. The first thing you have to do is calibrate the device. You do this via the manager, but first put it on the floor like this and connect the device to your computer and let it calibrate in the manager. Once this is done, you will see reaction from movement with the joints on the debug screen. Now strap the joints on your legs and you are ready to walk or run in games by using your legs on the spot in real life. You can also strafe left or right by making a small step in that direction with your left or right foot. And the same goes for moving backwards. Right now you are already able to test each direction and the action should be confirmed in the manager. In settings, when you scroll down to general, you will be able to adjust the sensitivity of everything of the device. If you want to do more effort to move in the game or if you want to move slower, you can all change it there and make the feeling more comfortable or more realistic depending on how you like it. From here you are ready to launch a game and enjoy the experience with Agile VR. I've been asked by Mechatech to test the early version, which has been a great run from the first steps. They were so kind to send me a prototype of their product. Around 6 months of testing has occurred between myself and the team. This has been also a chance to experiment a little besides the testing part. Which eventually gave more promising results than expected. I don't know exactly how many hours that I've used the Agile VR in total at this moment. 
I'm guessing something close to 50 hours maybe. And the device is still working without malfunctions. I remember the first time I got to move in a game by using my own legs. I was very excited and curious to find out how it would feel in other games. Oh shit. Since then, oh, oh, shit. I wanted to explore all these virtual worlds again with my legs. I've been trying out a lot of VR games while using Agile VR. And I've also been jogging through the virtual worlds of many games I ever like to play. I even did a marathon run through the world of Skyrim. It was a dream coming true. I will leave links to these videos in the description of the video. At some points I was thinking out of the box. I asked myself if the product would work on non-official VR games, which are made by fans or mothers. And it worked just like with an official game for virtual reality. This way I was able to play the classic Wolfenstein 3D game with Agile VR and I even did a marathon run of around 40 miles in Grand Theft Auto V. It was another dream coming true. As mentioned before, the product is wired, with a cable that is as long as the cable which you use to connect your headset to the computer. But I figured out that there is a way to play wireless. This will not work for all headsets, but it should work with all headsets that have an extra USB port on them. When you connect the Agile VR to the extra USB port from your VR headset, then you don't need to use the long cable over the floor. This will be much safer for you and for the device also, since you can catch yourself stepping on the cable at some points. Combine this with a wireless adapter for your headset and you are playing without any cables around you on the floor, which makes it a wireless experience. So I'm using a wired version of Agile VR, but Megatech is working on a wireless version which I'm very curious for. This version will use a Bluetooth connection, so this might give opportunities for additional pieces of hardware in the future, as their goal is to produce a full body exoskeleton for VR. When we compare both versions with each other, we can already notice a couple of improvements. To start, there will be an on and off button. When we take a look at the wireless adapter for HTC Vive, you will notice that the button is on the external battery for the wireless adapter. So less mess when you can turn it on directly from a button on the device itself. At the joint bending area, we can see that they've added an extra part that gives more stability in keeping every part attached to each other. They also mentioned that the wireless Agile VR will also have haptic feedback. For now, this is all that I can tell you about the new Agile VR. I will leave a link in the description if you want to find out more or if you want to stay updated. Mechatech also created a Kickstarter page. I will also leave a link to that page in the video description in case you want to support them. I have enjoyed the Agile VR every time I've been using it. It really gives an extra something to the virtual reality experience. It's also a very good alternative to save the state of the trackpad from your Vive controllers if you are using a Vive. From my own experience, I know that it's very easy to get them jammed and this will bring issues when the game is using trackpad locomotion movement. So the Agile VR is perfect to save your controllers. In case you do have a jammed trackpad, I have a very good fix for that. I will leave a link to that tutorial in the video description as well. There are a lot of games that I have played while using Agile VR and a lot of different types of games as well. 
and in each of them the Agile VR brings you that something extra that keeps you interested. It's a new way to practice your aiming for virtual reality shooter games. Aiming and shooting while making running motion with your whole body takes the VR shooting genre to a whole other level. Have you ever imagined you could actually run away from zombies in Arizona Sunshine or even from the police in Grand Theft Auto V by really using your legs? Speaking of running, Agile VR is also perfect for a good cardio session. This is a very sportive way to enjoy your favorite virtual worlds once more. Using Agile VR in open world games makes you realize how large some places are. If you are a gamer, then you must at least have wondered at some point how would it be to actually walk around in that world. Well, this is how you can do this. Who says that playing games makes you lazy, right? If you are interested in the Agile VR, then you should definitely check out their website or follow them on social media. I will leave a bunch of useful links in the description of the video related with Agile VR. Be sure to take a moment to check this out. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. See you next time. Salut!